Hi, this video covers uh, th the Autodesk 3ds Max 2018 tutorial that demonstrates how to model base cabinets using polygon modeling. Notice the starting illustration here has a picture of all the parts and dimensions. And it's a good idea when you design your own items to go ahead and make an initial sketch and try to get an idea of how big things are so that when you have to do the modeling, you're not having to make the calculations then. With 3ds Max open, choose File, Open, and in the Modeling Kitchen Cabinets subfolder, choose KitCab Start Max and Open. This file is basically empty, but it does have the units set up to U.S. standard fractional inches with a 32nd of an inch accuracy. This will affect the display of items in the parameters. Make sure the ribbon is open. If it isn't, push this button until it is. On the Create panel, choose Box and drag out a box. Doesn't matter how big it is. On the Length, choose 21. On the Width, choose 3 quarters. On the height, choose 34 and a half. Notice the after the numbers are entered, fractional units are converted to 30 seconds of an inch. Select the move and then right click on the X and Y to bring the panel to the origin. Then choose the hierarchy and effect object only and move the object negative 10.5 in the Y direction and then select the Effect Object Only button again to turn it off. Next right click and choose Convert to Editable Poly. This should open up the ribbon but over on the hierarchy panel, if you've done a lot of work on the hierarchy panel, it may not. So just push Editable Poly, and it should open it up. Now, next, the first thing we select edges. Select all the vert vertical edges by using a crossing window, and then choose Connect. This will create a loop at the middle height. Then with Select and Move set, set that height to a Z height of 4.5. We'll be adding uh, edges to this panel so that we can do polygon modeling easier. Switch to the polygon, select the front facing polygon, then shift click extrude in the ribbon, and then enter 2.5 Hit the enter and then push the check box. This brings the panel forward, creating a toe space. Then select edge and then choose swift loop. And it, we're going to either be picking horizontal edges, which create a vertical loop, or vertical edges, which create a horizontal loop. Next, create a vertical loop and then push the Select and move, and then set that to a Y of negative three quarters. Push the Swift Loop button again, and choose any horizontal loop here, and push the move, and set that Z height to 5.25. Again, swift loop, select the vertical edge, move, select the height at 33.75. Again, swift loop, select a horizontal edge, select move, and then select a Y of negative 4.75. Again, swift loop, select near the top edge, Move negative 
Now these edges will help us uh, by adding polygons to the panel. Next, create the opposite side of the panel by cloning a copy. And then by moving that copy, and you can use an offset if you want, an X direction of 17.25. Then select the original object and then push attach and attach the new object. This creates two elements within the same model. The total cabinet is 18 inches wide. So now we want to bridge the two parts with runners at the top. So zooming in, we switch to polygon, polygon level. Control click, control click, control click, orbit, control click, control click, control click, and control click. Sorry. Let's let's alt click that one. So we should only we have two at the front here, one at the back, two at the front one at the back. And if the shadows are bothering you, choose the audience shadows and just take the shadows off. Next, choose bridge and they should connect. Select anything to deselect. So these are the two top runners. Next, orbit to the back side and under modify selection, turn on step mode, select the bottom polygon Control select the top polygon, and all the polygons in between are selected. Control select the bottom polygon, and control select the top polygon, and then choose bridge. Now, if bridge doesn't automatically work, you may have to push it a second time. For some reason, that locks bridge on, so you can unlock it by doing that. So there's two ways you can bridge push this button or push this button. To do the bottom orbit that's alt middle mouse button and left click this polygon orbit around and control click this polygon and the step mode will automatically select all the polygons in between. Then alt select the back and then push bridge down here. Select step mode again to deactivate it. Then left click and control click. And then shift extrude. Shift extrude three quarters of an inch. This will create the toe board. Select this edge. Alt, Orbit, and Control select that edge and push the Bridge button. And again, if it doesn't work, push it down here, Bridge. Next, remove all the extra loop by going to Loop Mode and then selecting the edges. Make sure you're an edge. Select an edge and then remove the loop. Select and remove. Now you can control select, you can select and control select to speed things up, I think. Select, control select, control select, remove, orbit around and make sure that you've gotten all the edges on various sides. On the front, remove these edges. and check on the back and remove those edges. Simplifying the geometry here will help our material application. Next on the hierarchy panel choose effect pivot only and then push the align and select the cabinet. Then for the X position only. Choose the center of the target object and then apply it. Click OK and then push this button again. Choose move and 
make sure this is on absolute right click here to move that to the origin move to the create panel choose box drag a box out anywhere choose the length of 12 the width is 16 and 3 8 and the height at 3 quarters and then choose the align command and select the box set the X and Y and Z position from center to center zooming in on the top with move selected move it close move this move it close and then zoom in and you can bump it or else go down here and move it with just the scroll bar here just get it close to the back and then select the cabinet itself and then you want to attach and if you don't see attach choose modify mode and then push attach and then select the shelf select the material editor select the first swatch which is the cabinet material as you see here it's a multi sub object material then push assign material to selection then dismiss the material editor move to the polygon level control a to select all the polygons in the model on the properties select material IDs and bump the spinner down to one then select off then with the polygon still selected select the front facing polygons and control select the other ones you you may want to alt w to get a larger view to make it easier to select then set the id to 2 and click off dismiss the dialog set id and go to the customize and customize your preferences so that the files increment on save so each time the files get saved they add a number save this as my underscore kit cab hit the enter key so the first one will be kit cab the next one will be kit cab 001 and so forth 